All right, guys. Um, go ahead and flip in your notes to page 10. Okay. We're going to be doing uh, learning targets number four and number five in this in this video. Uh, we're probably going to probably maybe. I mean, we'll see how it goes. But I'm probably planning on probably two days on these two learning targets because this is going to be very new. Okay. Learning target number four says I can identify each part of an algebraic expression. Okay, so you already know what an algebraic expression is. You've been doing nothing but working with algebraic expressions. Now we're going to learn the names of the parts of them, and, it, and they are important, okay? Um, first of all, obviously everybody knows what the variable is. Uh, you might know what the terms are based on how, me saying it. I've been saying it. You may know what the like terms are. I may have, may, might have mentioned it. Coefficients, you sh definitely should know what a coefficient is. I've but if you don't, that's okay. We'll get it. And then a constant, I have mentioned that also in the past, uh, but maybe you don't remember, but that's okay. You need to know what each one of these is and be able to identify them in an algebraic expression. And then finally, the learning target five, really the most important part of this, these, this video, is simplifying algebraic expressions by combining like terms. So there's that word again, like terms. Okay? It's all going to make sense in a minute. The parts of an expression that are added together are called terms. You know what? I'm not even going to read that because I think that is probably going to confuse you more than me just showing you. So let's go ahead and go to page 11. Okay? All right. Now, I'm not exactly sure what those lines are. I mean, I don't know if they're on there on yours. Oh, I just had them on there. Okay. Never mind. I'm not sure why those lines were there. But regardless, this obviously right here is an algebraic expression. Algebra, I think that's how you spell it. That's got to be an E, I think. Algebraic expression. Okay. As I've told you a million times already this chapter, an algebraic expression consists of operations, which we have multiplication happening in between there, uh, and numbers and variables. Okay, that's what an algebraic expression is. Now, what a term is, a term is anything that's separated by a plus or a minus. Okay, so the terms, let me put it this way, the number 5 on its own is not a term. Okay, 5y is a term. Okay, so that would be the first term. So we know that would be 5y. The next term would be 3. The next term would be 2y. The next term would be 1. And the next term would be y. Right, because all of those things are separated by a plus. So basically, you're taking out the pluses and just putting commas. That's all the terms are. Okay, it's no different than if I gave you a numeric expression four plus three. The terms are four and three. That's what a term is, and it can be x plus three. The terms are x and three. Okay, so that's all the terms are. The terms are very easy. Okay, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to skip like terms for a minute because I would say probably. This right here is the most important thing about this because it goes right along with this. And those are the two most important things. Being able to identify the terms, coefficients, and constants is important, but not as important as what I have highlighted in green. Okay. Now, we've identified the coefficients, and just put, I put them straight in order. As you can see, 5y, 3, 2y, 1, and y. Notice, once again, the number 2 by itself is not a, is not a term together combined. The reason why is because if I knew that y was, let's say y equals 3, 2 times 3, wouldn't that be one number? It would be 6, right? So that's why we consider it a term. Okay. Remember, terms are separated by pluses or minuses. Okay. Coefficients. Uh, hopefully a lot of you are already thinking ahead of me, but I, you guys are well aware that the only way that we show multiplication of a variable and a number is by putting the number first and then the variable. So 7g or g times 7 would be written as 7g. So if I wanted to write, well, here, you know what? I can flip back here to our first um, little notes here we had. Find something here, maybe. There it was. There's one. The product of z and 6, remember, we wouldn't be able to write z dot 6, 6 dot z. We write it as the number directly in front of the variable. As you can see, in learning target number one video, I actually had you write on the word coefficient. So you should have seen this before. So go back to page 11 here. 
Okay, so I know my coefficients here, and I'll underline them in blue. Is anything in front of y? Okay, so there's five. I know that's a coefficient. Okay, here's two. That's right in front of y. That's definitely a coefficient. And there is one more coefficient, and it's kind of a tricky one. And it is one. Now, it has nothing to do with that one right there. That's 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 nothing. Don't even worry about that. Every variable has a coefficient. Okay? If I write 7x, what that really means is x plus actually let me pick something smaller. You don't have to write this, I just want you to watch. If I write 4x, that simply means x plus x plus x plus x, right? Remember, repeated addition is multiplication. Okay? So rather than add x to itself four times, we just do four times x. But we always write it with the coefficient first. Okay? What that means is I'm saying I have four x's. That's what it means. If I have three m's, if I if I have three times m, that means I have m plus m, whoops, plus m, right? I mean, that's what it means. That's what I want you guys to really understand. So if I just have the variable x, you've got to realize that, yes, there is a 1 in front of that that is a coefficient, okay? <clears throat> why don't we write 1y then? Why don't we put it in there? Well, because there's only one y there, right? You don't need to be... You, need, you don't need to be redundant, and redundant just means repetitive. You're saying, you're showing it the same thing twice. If I'm showing that there is only one x, that means there's only one x. I don't need to put this. The other reason is, is remember, this means multiplication. So if I do one times x, what's one times x, everyone? X, right? I mean, that's what it is. It doesn't matter what x is because anything times one is that number. That's the identity property. Right? We've talked about that, the identity property of multiplication. Okay, So just keep that in mind. That's probably the trickiest thing about coefficients. Is even if, if there are three variable terms, then there is going to be three coefficients. I guess I should touch on that. This is called a variable term. These are called variable terms. Remember, we know they're terms. They're called variable terms, obviously, because they have a variable. These are called numeric terms for obvious reasons once again. Okay, all right, now let's go on to constants. Now what a constant is, is when they are just the number all by themselves. Okay, so when I look at these terms, I'm either going to have variable terms or numeric terms. Any numeric term is a constant. So I look here and I say, okay, there's a term that's just a numeric, and there's a term that's just numeric. So I know that my, new, my constants, or my numeric terms, are 3 and 1. Let's write that over here. Constants, another name, would just be the term that is simply, it's only numeric, no variable in it, just numeric. Okay? All right, now we're on to the like terms part of this. Okay? So, now I'm going to have to erase this a little bit because I want you guys to see... There's a method in which I, I like to do this. I didn't want to erase all that. But I, I'm going to show you a pretty good method I think you guys are going to like, okay? So, so really hang with me here and try to understand where I'm coming from. Now, we know that we have all these terms. So when we talk about like terms, we're talking about the terms, these terms right here, that are like one another. They have something in common, okay? So there's a couple different ways to do this I'm going to show you. And I you know, I want, I want you to pick one of these two, two ways, okay? The first way involves if you have colored pencils, highlighters, you have something like that that you can bring to class when you're doing this because you're going to need them. Now, I got this over here, so I'm able to do this on here, but you may want to go bring your highlighters, bring your colored pencils, bring different colored pens. I don't care because it's going to help you. Now, as I look at these terms, I sit there and I say, okay, right there, I have 5y. So I want to look at these other terms here, and I want to say, are they like each other? And what makes them like is if they have the same variable. Okay, So even though the coefficients are different, I, I know that that is like that because they have the same variable. And that is like those two because it also has the same variable. Okay, 
Now, let me show you the real reasoning behind this. I want you to watch this. It's actually pretty cool. As I showed you over there to the right, you know that 5y could also be written as, please write this, y plus y plus y plus y plus y. Right, everyone? Repeated addition is just multiplication. y plus y plus y plus y plus y is the same as multiplying 5 by y. Okay. Now I'm going to keep writing this. I'm going to write plus 3 now. So I'm going to change colors to show my, my other term there. There's plus 3. Okay. Now I get to 2y. Okay. Well, 2 times y is the same as doing y plus y. Okay. Now I'm going to change colors because I don't have a y on this one. Plus 1. And then finally, what is just y is just y. It is exactly what it is. All of these have a coefficient of 1 in front, remember. Okay, we just don't write them on there because it's implied that there's only one y. So, let me show you this. These is, this is why they are all like. They're just adding together. They're just adding. They're all the same thing. All these y's. Remember, addition is commutative. So I could change this order up to be y plus y plus y plus y. That's those five there. Okay, so those right there, those five y's, I'm just rewriting it. Now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and bring these y's over. I can change the order of any addition problem however I want. And that's those two, and then that's those. Okay, and then I'll put plus three, plus one. So just to make sure you, I'm not losing you all, that right there is the same as those ones. Okay, I just moved them, or I just, well actually they stayed the same. These... These two right here are, are these two, okay? And then finally, this right here, this y right here, is the same as this y right here. Okay, sorry, I had somebody at the door. So all I did was rearrange them. Okay, that, that's what I want you guys to all see. All I did was take this and move it here and this, move it here. So, and I can do that again because of the commutative property of addition okay I it's the whole rule 4 plus 3 is the same as 3 plus 4 that's all I did so look what I've done here I've, I've made this hopefully it's all clicking hopefully I'm, I'm really hoping I made 5y into 5y's added together I made 2y into 2y's added together and I made 1y into 1y added on then basically what I'm doing is I'm just changing the order so look again addition is just repeat I'm sorry repeated addition is just multiplication so to go back down to like terms now I look up here and I see all these Y's that is exactly why what I have highlighted in green right here 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 and here they are like terms with each other because they're all the same variable okay so this is how we show like terms I like to put them in parentheses so I put 5y comma 2y comma y and I group them because I know those y's are like terms okay now do I have any other like terms up here is there anything else that's like yeah heck yeah constants are always like terms because I can add three and one together can I I can put them together and make four just like what I did here okay so what I have here is, and I want to write that, constants, please write this too, always like terms. Constants are always like terms, so I know that my other group of like terms are 3 and 1. Okay, so again, these are going with those, and in the green, that's where I got these, where the green ones are. Okay. Now, let's think about this for a minute. I'm going to simplify the expression now, and I know i got a lot going on here, so this is kind of crazy, but I want to go real slow on one problem because I want you to understand this really well, and the, not just how to do it, but why you'd be able to do it. Remember, up here we changed the order. Now I'm adding 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 y's. So I'm doing y plus y plus y and so on eight times. Well, another way to show that is just simply to do y times 8, right? So, how do we write 
y times 8, when we're talking about an algebraic expression, we would write it as 8y. These right here I said were like terms. I could add them together. 8y plus 4. 8y plus 4. Right there, guys, you just simplified the expression. 8y plus 4. Now that was the long, drawn-out way to do it. You don't have to do all this every time. I just wanted to see, show you why you can combine like terms, because they're all y's. And you always simplify. You wouldn't want to write all this out every time, would you? You'd want to just write it as 8y. Okay? So that's how we simplified it. We took this expression right here. We combined, combined, know that word, it was in our target, combined like terms to get the expression 8y plus 4. Okay? Let's do another one here. I'll go a little faster on this one, but pay attention. I look for my terms. Anything separated by a plus or a minus. There aren't any minuses, so I just go ahead. My terms are 3x, 21, 7x, and 20. Those are my terms. Now I look at my like terms. I know that um, any term that has a variable in it, and that variable is the same, I know that that is a like term. So I know that this is going to be 3x comma 7x. And my other set of like terms is going to be 21 and 20. Okay, They're like because these have the same variable. And again, if I actually wrote it out, if I went x plus x plus x, that's that right there. And then if I added on those 7, you know, you can see why they would be like each other. They're the same thing. You're just, instead of writing as repeated addition, you got to show it as multiplication, okay? Now, coefficients. My coefficients are, actually, um, let me highlight these so you can see them. This is like and this is like. And we'll, and this is like and this is like, right? Um, just keep in mind, this is where the highlighters come in. It really helps you guys if you bring your highlighters or your colored pencils or your markers and you and you show what is being like each other. These green ones are like each other. Now you could rewrite it if you wanted to. You could actually go like this if you wanted to put the like terms next to each other. Again, all because of the commutative property. You can sh you can do it that way, but you don't have to. Okay, coefficients. I know the coefficient is any number in front of a variable, so here we got 3 and 7. My constants are any numeric term, so I got a numeric term there and there, so they are 21 and 20. Okay, now I'm ready to simplify the expression by combining like terms. So I know that I have three x's there, I have seven x's there. How many total x's would I have? I would have 10x, bring down a plus sign. And then I have 21 constants, I like to say. 21 there and 20, 20 there. Total, I have 41 combined. That would be my simplified expression. Again, this right here, I'm just combining these x's together. I have 3 there and 7 there. That makes 10. I have um, 21 constants there and 20 constants. I can add those together to get one number to get 42. But you got to remember the plus sign. Some people get in the habit of doing this. They put 10x41. No, all terms have to be separated by a plus or a minus. Okay?